we're going to be doing a series of informational videos on peritoneal dialysis. We're going to show you uh, three different videos, one to cover how to set up your dialysis machine or cycler as they like to call it. Um, we're going to you know how to clean the machine, set up the machine, that would be part one. Part two is going to be how to actually connect to your cycler and then three will be how to disconnect from your cycler. So essentially what we're going to do first I'm going to show you this little piece of paper here that your nurse should you know provide for you and it's going to give you a breakdown it's going to show you the date that you're always going to take your vitals you're going to have your weight your pulse blood pressure the type of uh, dialysis so solution that you're using um, and what your initial drain is your uf and average dwell time and any comments that uh, that you may have that went on through the process and then as well as, as your temperature so it should look something very similar to this okay and we want to stay consistent at the times that we take our vitals okay whether you take them in the morning you take them at night you take them in the day just for consistency sake we want to be uh, consistent so that we give our nurse and our doctor uh, accurate readings okay so having said that I've already done my vitals for the day the next step that we want to do is we're going to need to clean our dialysis machine and uh, anything that our solution is going to be sitting on so I'm going to wipe this down real good and I've gotten and I should show you this real quick I've gotten approval from my nurse to use these they're Lysol wipes okay I mean you know uh, they're 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria they, they take care of and if you don't happen to have these you can use uh, bleach and water and I believe that's a 1 to 100 solution bleach versus water you can verify that with your nurse but using these Lysol wipes or Clorox wipes are uh, a lot easier to use so I want to wipe the machine down real good. I want to wipe down what it's sitting on really well. So this is where the first bag's going and on this little cart this is where the second bag is going. You want to wipe it down as well. Okay, so our area is nice and sterilized. We want to, before we gather any supplies, go ahead and sanitize our hands. Now I already have my mask and my dialysis solution already prepped and out on the bed. So now all we want to do is they have little slits up here in the top of the bag. You can just pull down and it should open up. And what you want to pay attention to is you're going to look for clarity of the solution and you're also going to look for expiration date. Okay, because if this thing looks bad, it probably is bad and you definitely don't want to put anything in your body that doesn't belong in your body. Okay. But this says expires August uh, of 22, and you can see how the solution's clear. Okay, so that's the first bag. Same process for the second bag. And then as I do that, you have a button in the back of the machine that you're going to turn on. Let the machine start booting up and go to this thing. And while it's doing that, and I've just gotten in the habit, I'm going to re-sanitize my hands again, okay? Um, just being cautious, I plan on doing peritoneal, di peritoneal dialysis as long as I possibly can, and the way to do that is just ensure your safety. So whatever I touch, I come back and then I'm going to re-sanitize again, okay? But while the machine's booting up, I can go ahead 
and open up my cassette and close the clamps. That's taken care of. And then just remove these little paper ties on here. That's done. And now this is a patient extension line. Some people want to use them, some people don't. You don't have to use them. I use them, and the reason I use them is sometimes at night I don't rest really well. And, you know, I get restless legs really bad. I'm flip flopping in the bed. And to kind of not keep my wife awake all night long, I have another 12 feet of a patient extension line that I can leave the bedroom and, and kind of make it into the kitchen or the living room area. So we'll, we'll go through that uh, in this video as well. I'll take the little paper towel off that. Okay. Now, you can see on the machine that it's asking me to put my weight in. You have a black pro card here that your nurse has already programmed for you, okay? Um, and I've already, since I've already taken my vitals, I just got to press in, you know, what my weight is for, for today. So I'm gonna hit enter. You can see what it was. Now I gotta bring it down to what it is. So I just come down and I hit enter again because it takes care of the pounds. And then it's, let's go up to six. Now that's programmed in. Now I want to go to the next phase. I hit the down button. It's asking me to put in my blood pressure. Hit enter again. My blood pressure this time is still pretty good. It's 125. Then hit enter. And it brings it over to here and this needs to come up a little bit I believe it was 73 yep okay so 125 over 73 BP is pretty good today I'm gonna hit down again and what you're gonna do here as you see I'm using two greens two greens are the uh, two and a half percent uh, that, that I'm using. Uh, you, you, it'll show you, and let me I'll show you just here. I hit enter. It's already programmed in because that I, I was using that uh, last night as well. But if I decided I wanted to use a yellow, then I can press down, and then it'll change it to one and a half. Okay. So, but the first bag, which is this one that's sitting on the the heater portion of the cycler um, is is green so I still want to leave it at two and a half and hit enter and then of course the second bag that I'm using tonight is green so I hit enter that was already programmed in from the night before like I said though if I needed to go down or I needed to go up then there's the differences in your solution the 4.25 is red, 2.5 is green, 1.5 is yellow. But I'm using two greens, so I'm staying with that. And I just hit enter. I've programmed all my uh, vitals and what I'm using for my solution. Now I can just hit stop. Okay, it says press go to start. What I want to do now is I want to grab my cassette. I'm going to hit go, and you'll hear it kick up, and it's going to say load the set. So I'll open this up, and what I want to do is I should be able to just slide that right in. Okay. And what I want to make sure of is when I close it that I keep the lines straight for the where it's coming out of that hole there. Because so if it's crimped, the machine's going to let you know. And I can just drop the rest of the lines on the floor 
and place it on the machine. Now to go back to what I was saying, because sometimes it, as it's trying to prime or run a self-test, it'll give you an error. And usually you just need to jiggle these lines because you've ended up uh, crimping the line maybe and this needs to be straightened, straightened out. But this first line that I'm going to bring out is the uh, drain line. And what I want to do is I want to stretch it all out as far as I can. I don't want any kinks in it. And just bring it through and we're good. Sometimes it, it will get kinked up on you and you just need a little patience and just work it through. I mean, they'll untangle themselves this time. Thank the Lord it worked out pretty good for us. There we go. So now I'm just going to use some of this cloth tape. And I'm going to use two pieces to make sure it's nice and secure. I'm going to pop the blue tab. And I'm going to run the line into the sink. Because the last thing you want is this thing coming out during the middle of the night and leaking all over the floor. Okay, so now we've got our drain line set up to go into the sink. And now what we're going to end up doing is we're going to put on our mask. Because it's time to wash our hands. Okay. And we're going to use this antibacterial soap that's been provided for us. Okay. So we're going to wash them really well. Get in between. Really good. Don't forget the back of the hands. And don't forget your fingernails. Just scrub them on your palms really good. Okay. And now I'm going to use my elbow to turn it off because I don't want to touch it. And then this black paper towel holder here, I believe my wife got for me off of Amazon, maybe eight to ten dollars is what it was, but it comes in really handy. And then you can also order, I believe, the paper towels for it off of Amazon as well. I don't exactly remember how much that was, but it is pretty convenient. Um, so now I've got my hands washed. If you happen to have the sink that has the twist knobs that are flat on the bottom, then and you can't use your elbow, then you're just going to need to let the water run until you dry your hands off and use the paper towels to turn it off. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of wipe that off where I got that done. And now I know that I've already, like I said, I've washed my hands, but just in case to make sure I didn't touch anything I wasn't supposed to, in between leaving you know, the bathroom to come back in here, I'm re-sanitizing re my hands. Now, this is the part that I wanted to cover a minute ago. I'm going to use this 12-foot patient extension line. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Right now, what we'd end up doing is hitting go, and it'll start performing a self-test. Okay? But since I'm using it, what I'm going to show you is make sure if you happen to use a patient extension line, you can see the patient line here, okay? See how those match? That's what you want, that's what you want to uh, use, okay? I mean, you can see the difference. So you make sure you're hooking up the right one, okay? So I'm gonna place the patient extension line in. I'm also gonna make sure this is stretched out, no, no kinks in it. And then I'm going to pop 
the tops on them and I'm just going to toss them on the bed. I don't care where they go because I'm going to keep my eyes strictly on patient extension line. Okay. Twist them in together and I can drop it. Then I can go ahead and pick up my caps, my garbage, and hit go. Okay, let's hit go again. There we go. <clears throat> now you're going to hear it kick up. You can see where it says it's self-testing. It uh, probably takes less than a minute to run through the whole, whole thing. Um, it'll get quiet, and then, of course, it's going to kick up again, and then it's going to say connect to the bag. So in between time, if we just wait for it to run as a self-test. One thing I want to mention to you, too, is if you have any comments that you uh, want to make as I'm making this video, um, any questions that you may have, just leave me a comment and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. The one thing I want to make sure that you understand is every dialysis patient has a support team between your doctor, your nurse, your social worker, your nutritionist. They're there for you, okay? And, and don't be ever, uh, you know, afraid to, you know, ask a question. That's what they're doing. They're keeping you as healthy as what we can be, okay? So I just wanted to make that point. Eh, it shouldn't be but another couple seconds in this thing. Uh, nope, see, you can hear it kick up. There we go. Now it's going to say connect bags. Okay, we're going to start with the red line first. That's your heater bag. Okay, so what we're going to undo the clamp. The clamp is open. Okay, I want to pull down on this part of the bag. And once I pop this top, it stays in front of me. It does not go anywhere. I keep my eyes on it. Pull off the green tab. These can only touch each other. As long as they touch each other, you're good. You can break the frangible. Now you're good to go. We have the second bag. We're going to do the same thing. Give myself as much slack as I can. Open up the clamp. Pull down. Okay. Once I pop the top, it stays in front of me. Take the tab off. And make sure that you don't cross over because you could accidentally hit something. Just pull your arm back. Get into that habit. And then make sure these connect. All right, break the fringe on that one. Just let it hang, okay? Now you can pick up your trash. What you, what you want to make sure that, it, I mean, if you absolutely, if you have any doubt in your mind, you think maybe you have contaminated, start process over, okay? You just want to be careful. Um, so, you know, don't think, oh, no, no, it'll be okay. Um, you know, contact your nurse. That's what, that's what she's there for. I mean, it, it could be a snowball effect. If you don't contact her and you say, well, look, I did this, and then you shouldn't have, then you're going to probably need to get some antibiotics that she's going to give you. You're going to have to probably change out your transfer set, things of sort. So ask the question first, you know, with any doubt. And then, you know, just like I said, uh, just start the process over. One thing that I want to make sure that you remember, especially, is this third clamp down here on the floor. So I did those two. This needs to be open too. If not, you're going to have a bad day because it's not going to prime right. And having said that, one of the things that I also want to reiterate is what I've, I've gotten used to um, before I actually connect to the machine. All right. I know that it's already primed, but I'm just, you know, being extra careful. You can always hit stop, down, and the enter button twice, and it will reprime the machine for you. 
So while it's repriming, you can go ahead and bandage yourself up, you know, whatever the process, however you decide to do it. You know, um, you may already be bandaged up, you know, however, but it's just an extra way to be careful. And then once it's going to beep again, make sure it primes all the way up to the top. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Um, we'll be back uh, pretty soon with uh, part two of how to connect to your cycler. Um, if you found this information useful and helpful, just leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know that, uh, you know, it worked out well for you. And uh, I like to say I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time, and we'll get together again real soon.